Hello, and welcome to another edition of NPP's Budget Briefs. I'm Joe. I'm on the staff of NPP. And today we're going to talk about what happened last week. Uh, and we're going to focus on the Joint Select Committee on Deficit Reduction, uh, which is also known, of course, as the Super Committee. Now, as the deadline for the Super Committee, which is November 23rd, draws closer, as you might imagine, things are heating up in Congress. And they're heating up along party lines. So last week what happened is that the Democrats, and there are six of them on the Super Committee, and six Republicans, the Democrats put forward a $3 trillion deficit reduction plan. Now, the Super Committee's mandate is $1.2 trillion over 10 years. So this $3 trillion plan is actually quite large compared to the Deficit Commission's uh, mandate. Now, what the Democrats are proposing is getting $1.3 trillion of new money into the revenue stream because of letting some tax cuts for the wealthiest Americans expire. They're also proposing cuts to Medicare and Medicaid, half shared by those who use those services, half by the doctors who serve them. They're looking at approximately $400 billion in what are called discretionary appropriations. Uh, and some of that, half of it perhaps, might come from military. And remember, discretionary appropriations are what happen every year. And that's where the majority of military is allocated every single year. And also social programs like housing uh, and education spending and money for transportation and infrastructure. So they're looking at saving $400 billion because of cuts over the years, uh, 10 years. And they're also looking at some savings because of retirement and ag su subsidies, perhaps as much as $250 billion. In this $3 trillion deficit reduction plan is also some money from, for stimulus, which is um, one of the planks that the Democrats are still standing on, that our, our country and our economy demands that we stimulate it at this moment uh, using federal funds. Now, going over to the Republican side of this conversation, uh, the Republicans also announced that they too wanted to seek more than $1.2 trillion in deficit reduction over the next 10 years. Uh, but here's some differences. They're not interested in tax revenue. Uh, it's been something that the, re the Republicans have held steady on. Uh, they don't believe that tax revenue is actually going to be part of their plan that they'd like to see passed uh, by the super committee. Uh, they would like larger cuts to Medicaid and Medicare. Um, they're also looking at uh, cuts to food stamps and nutrition programs like WIC, which is the Women, Infant, Children uh, Nutrition Program for moms and their kids. Um, and they are also looking at saving money through discretionary appropriations, but a sore point for the Republicans is military spending. They'd rather not cut it. So um, stay with us. We're going to follow this as these plans unfold. Uh, and something that you might want to check out is our costoftaxcuts.org, um, because we found, actually, that the tax cuts for the wealthiest 5% of Americans, if we extend them through 2013 to 2021, which is what the Republicans would prefer, that's going to actually cost or uh, have a budgetary impact, if you will, of $2.02 trillion dollars taken out of the revenue stream as potential revenue because of these tax cuts. So this is a complicated thing. We're going to follow it for the weeks to come. Thanks for being with us.